now if you're an e-commerce store owner and you need product shots done for your business if you were to go to a modeling agency right now to hire a model or models to take product shots for you the minimum price per hour that you're looking at is around a hundred dollars per hour per model my day like that was like the pretty much like the minimum or the starting price for most agencies. I mean, it has been like a minute since I've been in that world, but for the most part, it's like $100 per hour. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a little hack that I've been doing over the course of the last month to get models to actually work for me for free. Okay, that sounded kind of sketchy. That sounds sketchy. It all makes sense like after I explain everything. And get really good quality shots that look like this, this, and this one. By the way, I'm Hannah Gardner, and this is my new office! My grandma's house! It's her third bedroom. I'm trying to get grandma to do marketing stuff with me, but she's not about it, so... So guys, the only reason that I know about this even exists and that like this is possible is because when I was in college, I was like, I was trying to get into like the whole modeling industry when I was like working out every day and eating broccoli a lot. Ooh, money. I was on the receiving end of this, one of casting calls and I was like, you know, trying to build my portfolio. So now that I'm on the other side and I'm owning a business and I'm looking for models, I just know that it works and ev everyone wins in the situation. As a model, when you're trying to enter the industry, you can't just enter space like without, you know, a resume. You need to have some kind of resume that says, you know, like this is my work, this is some of the stuff that I've done. You have to have something to show to like agencies, to show to like casting directors, to show to, you know, whoever you need to show your portfolio to basically. If there is, you know, some kind of modeling culture within your community, there are probably people that are entering the space trying to build their portfolio. These are the types of people, the types of girls and the types of guys that you're actually looking to work with. You're not looking for seasoned models that have huge portfolios, have, you know, they've been published in magazines or they've been published or done commercial work. You're not looking for those people. You're looking for amateur models that are entering the space. One of the ways that you can do this is actually by going on Instagram and looking up the hashtag whatever city that you live and then model so what i would do because i live in miami and miami there is a plethora of girls and guys that are aspiring models because it's miami what you do is you would hashtag miami models hashtag dallas models hashtag LA models and you would look through the photos that have that hashtag a or a guy that has that hashtag on their photo kind of tells you one of two things probably that they are a newer model if they're even putting that hashtag on their picture because you know some you know a Victoria's Secret model isn't putting hashtag LA model on their picture because it's not like they need to be found because they're already established probably because they're trying to be found that helps us when we're trying to find these people another hashtag to look at is like the location plus blogger so hashtag Miami blogger hashtag you know LA blogger bloggers are a really good one because they're constantly trying to get content. They're constantly looking for people to take photos with them and do collabs. So when you look up the hashtag Miami model, you're going to see a bunch of different content. <laughs> I go to Instagram right now and I type in hashtag Miami models. You will see that there is 384,000 posts for Miami models. Okay, you can't see that. What you can do is you can see all the girls or all the guys that have that hashtag. And what you're gonna do is basically just look through all these people's profiles and see if there's anybody that has an interesting look or seems like they have a cool personality or you know the vibe that you're trying to go for for your brand. And so once you find a few girls that you like, I send them this message. Hey love, my name is Hannah. I am launching an online store called The Views & Co. I love your look and was wondering if you'd be interested in doing a TFP shoot for product shots. You can see the vibe of my store and some of my photography on my page. It could be great 
a great ad, it could be a great ad to your portfolio plus be featured on my website my personal insta is hannah the homeless let me know if you're interested so let me break down this message for you real quick i introduce myself and i'm telling them that i'm launching a store for somebody that's a new model and doesn't have anything on their resume like the fact that you're saying hey i want to feature you so you're technically being published because i'm putting you on a business's website so now they can put that on their resume that they actually are on a real business's e-commerce store. And I tell them the name of my Instagram because I had some com content on my Instagram so they can actually go see what types of products they are going to be modeling to see if they even like the vibe or if that's something they would want to represent. And then I say, are you, would you be interested in doing a TFP shoot for product shots? So this is really, really key. You're clarifying to them that it's a TFP shoot. TFP stands for time for print. For the most part, if you say that to a girl that's entering the modeling space, they should know what that means if they're actively trying to build their portfolio. It means that I'm not paying you and you're not paying me as a photographer. We're just doing a collaboration to make some really cool content, build each other's portfolios, whether you're a photographer, whether you're a business, whether you're just the model. Everybody kind of wins in this situation, so it's like you're not like scamming them or trying to get free labor or anything because these people genuinely need, you know, content for their Instagrams to build their personal brands to build their portfolio. It could be a great add to your portfolio, so I'm reiterating like, hey, like this is a good opportunity for you. My personal Insta is Hannah the Home yeah that's my personal Instagram so follow me let me know if you are interested a couple of things are gonna happen at this point they're either gonna say hey this is what I charge this is my rates so if they have like I know over 10,000 followers sometimes pay like this is what I do for my life and they're gonna give you a rate and so you're just saying nope sorry it's TFP only I'm not looking to pay anybody it's just a collab you know so you could get good shots for your you know Instagram or for your portfolio or they'll say you know I'd love to hear more or whatever um, and then some people will just give you the link to their agency or something but for the most part if the girl is has an agency and so she's being represented by something they usually models usually put that in the bio of their Instagram so you don't really want to message those people anyway because obviously they're used to getting paid so you're looking for people that probably have never gotten paid before for you know modeling and they're still looking to build and just like a disclosure like some advantages that I've had to get the, you know the quality of people that I've had first of all I'm I'm a girl so <laughs> when you're when you're li landing in a girl another girl's DMs it's not as horrifying as like a guy landing in your DMs and I also already had content to show them to to show them the quality of the photos that they're going to get if you're hiring a photographer and you just want to try to you know be the middleman then maybe show the quality of the content of the photographer and send them you know some type of thing for them to look at so they know it's like worth their time that you know they're gonna get quality shots out you just want to make sure that it's totally fair make sure they you make them feel comfortable maybe buy them lunch you can even offer them you know free product if they are super cool or something I've done that in the past basically I sent this message out to about I would say like 20 girls and out of those girls I've had you know five people have bookings with me to go set up shoots it's really effective and like I said both parties win they just want content and I need product shots that's just really what I do and that's how I've been able to get the product all the product shots that I have in my store now it's a little hack for you especially if you're on a budget let me go if you guys enjoyed this video in the comment section and if you do enjoy any of my content or any of my videos just commit you know subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you later guys.